thought had been in place over the last two years, we would have saved $200 billion. Very simply, the law allows for special one-time spending in the case of an emergency. In the last two years, the government has brought in a half trillion dollars of new spending measures, of which $200 billion had nothing to do with COVID. Imagine if they had had to go back into their departments and find the savings to pay for that. Well, they just wouldn't have done most of that spending. Or they would have been forced to go through the discipline, line by line, of finding things that could be eliminated to lower the cost and the burden on the taxpayer. The Americans had the pay-as-you-go law in the 90s. It allowed them to balance the budget, pay off $400 billion of debt. And guess what? As soon as the law lapsed, they went right back into deficit, proving again that politicians need legal limits on their spending. The great Thomas Sowell said, yes. The great Thomas Sowell, the economist said, that the number one rule of economics is scarcity. There's, all, there's never enough to satisfy all of the wants. And the first law of politics is to ignore the first law of economics, right? Politicians are the only creatures in the universe that don't have to live with scarcity. The birds in the trees, the fish in the seas, all must maximize the use of limited resources, but not politicians. They just push that cost onto everybody else. Well, that's not going to be the case anymore. You've been pinching your pennies long enough. It's time that government started pinching pennies too.